installing stairs using builder rail is very similar to the standard straight section instructions. Like any stair railing, it does take a few modifications, but it's really very simple. Let's see how to get started building a stair section with builder rail. Before you begin, make sure your posts are no more than 8 feet on center and plumb. Builder rail is designed to have at least a 1 inch thick plank installed over the top of the posts. To accomplish this, your post covers at the top of the stairs should be cut to 35 and 5 16 inches from the top of the deck surface as shown. These should match the rest of your posts and covers on your deck. Slide a TimberTech ornamental railing post cover and post skirt over the top and bottom posts and check for plumb. Start by cutting a piece of builder board slightly longer than the length of the stair run. Position the builder board on the stairs against the post covers and mark the length and angle. Cut the builder board ends along your marks. With the top rail in place between the post covers, mark the location of the upper edge of the top rail on the lower post cover. This will be the top leading edge of the angled cut for the lower cover. Now place the post cover back over the post and use it to mark the angle of the cut for the post on two sides. Slip the cover off one last time, and using a straight edge, mark a parallel line about an eighth inch below the lines you just made. Using a circular saw, trim your 4x4 four four post. Now. Replace your post cover and skirt. To determine the height of your bottom rail, use a couple pieces of scrap builder board and stair connectors to mock up a small section of rail. Mark the top of your bottom rail on the post. At the top of the stairs, you will need to trim the builder board for a relief cut for the brackets at the top of the stairs. Measure up about three quarters of an inch along the angled cut and cut back from there at a 45 degree angle. You won't need to make this modification at the lower ends of the rails, just the upper ends. Now that your posts are ready, let's start the railing assembly. Each baluster requires two baluster connectors, one on the bottom rail and one on the top. Position the builder boards side by side on edge and clamp them together. Make sure you have the correct edges up before you mark and pre-drill the rails. You should have opposing angles as shown. When laying out the baluster locations, keep in mind that the space between the balusters and post must be less than four inches apart. Now it's time to pre-drill the rails. Using an angled stair connector as a guide, position a 9 64th inch drill bit on one of your layout marks and just start the hole into the rail to keep the bit from slipping. Now, while holding the connector with the angle in line with the rail, tip the bit and connector over until the bottom of the connector rests flush with the rail. Make sure you are tipping your drill in the same direction of your end cuts. Continue to pre-drill to a depth of about one inch. Repeat this at each marked location. Next, let's install the brackets at each end. Start by pre-drilling with a 9 64th inch bit at a depth of 3 quarter inch. Using the provided 3 quarter inch screws, attach the four brackets to the rails. The brackets at the upper ends will have the tabs turned up with the brackets set into the relief cut you made earlier. 
The brackets at the bottom of the stairs will be installed with the tabs facing down. Next, you will need to install foot blocks under the rails. TimberTech requires two foot blocks for each six foot section and three foot blocks for each eight foot section of railing. Cut one end of each foot block to the same angle as your stairs. Use a half inch drill bit and drill one inch deep into one end. Now, using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill completely through the foot block. Next, position your bottom rail between the posts at the height previously marked. Slide the foot blocks into place and mark their location on the bottom of the bottom rail. Remove your bottom rail and attach your foot blocks using number eight three and a half inch screws. Now you're ready to install the bottom rail. Place the rail between your posts and ensure they are lined up with the mark made previously on the post cover. Center the rails on the post. Using a 3 16 inch bit, pre-drill through the post cover only and attach with number 8 3 inch screws. Place your balusters over the connectors along the bottom rail. Now, bring your top rail into position and align the balusters with the connectors. Now you will need to attach the top brackets to the posts by pre-drilling and using the screws. The final step is to attach the top plank to the system. Use one of TimberTech's solid plank profiles for your top rail. Measure down the rail assembly and over the bottom post. The plank should cover the bottom post completely. For ease of installation, apply the top cap to the stair rails prior to the straight rails. To create a clean transition at the top post, place your stair rail top plank against the plank that will be top rail along the deck. The angled cuts are made by dividing the angle of the stair in half and cutting each plank to that angle. This may need to be adjusted slightly if your posts were not plumb. To attach the plank to the post, use two number eight three inch screws, one and a half inches from the edge of the plank, angled as much as possible, but not so much as not to come through the bottom of the plank before going into the post. You will also need to pre-drill and attach the board to the builder board every two feet on center using the same screws. Once you have finished attaching your top plank to the railing assembly, your builder rail is complete.